when not one or two, but three strokes left Rick Arnold paralyzed on the right side of his body. His chances of recovery were slim. The retired paramedic firefighter told his wife Kim he wanted only one thing during that difficult time. All I really wanted to do was to be able to hold her hand. In the very beginning was to hold her hand. So Arnold sought help from Dr. Eric Luthart, the neurosurgeon at Washington University in St. Louis, is working on a device that could change the lives of patients like Arnold. He says although one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body, other parts of the brain can be tapped for signals to rewire communication between the brain and the body. We're taking a signal from the uninjured side of the brain, the opposite side of the brain, decoding that intention to move, that even though they can't move, we know that they want to move. When Arnold straps on the device and thinks about moving, the machine tells the computerized exoskeleton hardware to grip and move his hand. The device works like a traffic controller to redirect the flow of information from the brain to the hand and back again. It enhances the brain's natural ability to rewire itself after injury. Rick was three to four years out from his stroke and we can still recharge his plasticity for him to change his, his brain circuitry to, to functionally improve him. And Arnold has reaped the benefits of this new technology. Every day is Christmas. It's all working. It's just falling into place the way you want it to be. And everybody really a big smile on your face like I've got because I'm going way, way beyond any thought, including myself, thought would ever get this better, much better. Though stroke victims like Arnold face many obstacles on the road to recovery, new technologies like this can go a long way in helping them hold the hands of their loved ones once again. Maya Pajara, VOA News, Washington.